All right, in this video, I want to talk about Adidas Victory League. This is a bit of a weird one for me because I initially wanted to get Boss Bottled, which is the one most people are probably more familiar with. If you think you haven't smelt this before, you probably have. Uh, it's been quite popular the last few years. A lot of people list it as boring. I don't know about that. But anyway, I was kind of diving into the world of like cheap fragrances. And this caught my eye. I, I got a previous one, which I'll also review, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna comment on that right now. Uh, but this one, this is quite interesting. Basically, the same thing. Uh, near enough. This is definitely a little bit weaker overall. The, T the TLDR, uh, but the, it's remarkably identical, which is a good thing. I think this is a good thing. This is this is a fragrance. This initial, I, I obviously this is new to me. The, the Adidas one, but I, I wore this Hugo Boss one. Uh, boss bottled. I wore this in sort of high school. My brother had it. I really liked it. I wore it in high school. It's a very cozy fragrance to me. It's very warm, uh, mainly because of the vanilla and sort of cinnamon in it. That that sort of warmy tone. I've always liked it. Uh, getting back into the world of fragrances, I kind of because I've kept this empty bottle. It's a little bit in there, but it's not much. Uh, I wanted to dive into it again, and then I was looking at Adidas did a range of of fragrances. So I was, it was piqued my interest, and it's cheap. This is very, 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 very cheap bottle. Uh, in comparison, this is like a third of the price compared to the Hugo Boss. No, no ad or anything, it's just whatever. Uh, so I was like, we can't really go wrong with that. And it's it's a nice little video for me to do. Uh, it's going into it. So I, I sort of looked at it, and basically it's, it's apparently been around for a little while now. Um, it was quite well reviewed on uh, on this website, which is quite well known. I'll put the links in the description. Uh, but yeah, it, it was so cheap. It was like seven pounds. Where was it? where did I get it from? I got it on eBay for like seven pounds. You know, I mean, for that price, you can't really go away and throw it away. Throw it away if you really want to, that sort of thing. But no, I was quite intrigued. It doesn't last that long. I couldn't really say. It's been a while since I've wore the the, the Hugo Boss anyway. Uh, but it was this sort of autumny time of year that I, I used to wear it, and particularly, say, at school is where I more did it, so we're talking like about 10 years ago. Um, I don't really go out so much now, so if I do wear stuff, it's around the house, and if I wear stuff around the house, I, I don't really wear stuff expensive, hence why they're cheap. But I will be going through a lot of my higher-end stuff, uh, medium sort of end, like, I mean, spoiler, that's one of my favorites right there, but we'll gloss over that. But we'll look at some of the reviews here for it. I was quite pleasantly surprised. It definitely, as I say, when it didn't, doesn't last as long, like sometimes with a fragrance I, I wore recently that was a Spanish fragrance, that I could still really smell after 24 hours, uh, the, like, sort of the, or near enough 24 hours the next day, the next morning. I have a shower in the morning, so I want to do my routine. Um, so I ended up like applying this like yesterday and I, I couldn't smell it this morning. And I've had two days wearing this. Uh, like third day technically today, but I thought it was good enough to sort of review. It's nice. It's it's very nice. It's not overpowering at all. It's I would say the Hugo Boss is way more way more powerful and way stronger and a lot better. It's worth the extra money for sure, uh, for sure. But in terms of actual f the smell, they are near enough identical. I don't know. I would almost say this this Hugo Boss. Everyone should at least try this. At least, or at least have a bottle of this. It's not. It's kind of that sort of thing for me. But equally, I there's been so many new ones the last few years. I don't know how something like this tests up. And a lot of the reviews say it's boring, ah, typical bland deodorant sort of fragrance. And so I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe times have kind of changed. Maybe I like my sort of simple stuff. But anyway, we'll read some of the reviews for it here. <clears throat> this is what you expect for the price, even though the scent is pretty decent the silage is longevity is pretty weak uh, yeah, yes, but yeah i would agree yeah big time i would say it's about three three good minutes on the skin don't waste too many ah uh, no i got i got a good half a day or so i think is pretty fair but it's not it's not got the quality of of a proper eau de toilette it's just a it's definitely more in like a body spray sort of element if that's probably the best fair comparison i think uh if adidas was given four adidas fragrances of my last birthday what uh, of them, this was the only one worth reviewing. Victory League is quite nice and not sporty blue or fresh at all. Yeah, I agree. It's it's vanilla and it's vanilla and kind of warmy. It's vanilla, woody, and slightly woody, uh, and just a bit warm because of that sort of cinnamony sort of sort of smell it's got to almost a bit like a almost a bit like a cinnamon roll that sort of thing really. I guess you could liken it to. You could easily wear this on a date or to an interview. It's too good for the gym. 
you could wear yeah it's a, no it's not you could wear it as a gym fragrance and in fact i'd say it's a lovely this time of year gym fragrance that's good it's probably it's perfect point is that if you want to wear fragrance while playing sport or working out boom they've got you covered i think is the is relative uh there you go it's got this thing so you're a young lad this is my first fragrance i've got it for like four bucks yeah perfect yeah as, as a young lad this would be right up your alley if you're a teenager or something you'll yeah just go for it dude you can't even argue with that with that price point either outperformed pdm not too sure i do i do know people mention this i don't know what that means according to the blind smell test it does that made me swear to never buy a uh, niche fragrance, even though I'm already rich. I don't care. We'll gloss over him. He's, he's clearly in his own little world. Sits very intimate on the skin. Smells very cloy little cloyingly sweet. It also has typical Adidas synthetic and alcohol whiff to have a scent. Longevity is pretty long at 12 hours plus. Yeah, yeah, that's kind of what I said. Yeah, it is. Yeah, Can't complain. I got it from Tulux. Honestly, I, I think, you know, I'd quite, I'd probably quite wear this quite a bit, I think. It's got me intrigued to try some of their other stuff because I really, I really didn't actually expect to like it uh, and all the other one i got and I'll, I'll review that one as well uh blind buy when i sprayed on my arm i thought hang on a minute i already have this synthetic smell and well at least on my skin takes massive resemblance to color me black by milton lloyd never heard of that i don't get the vanilla note at all but then again the scent disappears quite fast although i have to admit compared to adidas edt this one seems more persistent again i'm not too sure which one that is but it truly is an ice dive from my very first fragrances when i was nine years old well there you go i remember both of them being really nice as nine year old kid does well then you know it's very, very nice i felt very nostalgic so i had to snatch a bottle of both i kept to my attention packaging got an update alongside with that i think the formulation might have gotten an update as well it probably did uh victory league as well as ice type smell different to me now mm, i don't know kids kids can smell something different but I, I wouldn't know if it's changed uh the smell is good i personally use it as cheap gym scent yeah there you go cheap scent yeah it is it's good though for the price man i've, I've got I've, I've smelled a lot worse god for, for more money you know what i mean uh i don't get the vanilla oh i do it's not strong it's like the equivalent i think the Hugo Boss is definitely, I think, from what I remember, for sure, more warmer, uh, definitely stronger. But this is more akin, I'd say, almost, almost to like a sort of, I say, a body spray, like a like a bathroom air freshener. I think is is that that's the sort of potency I think we're looking at um, in difference. But I think that's a good thing. You know, I don't necessarily. I don't think you want to walk into a room and everyone can always smell you. It's not always the best idea. Or people can smell you coming. That's good enough. Anyway, I'm just in the clone of legendary boss bottle. There you go, that's what put me on to it. Uh, which is an iconic fragrance in Germany and Poland. Victory Leg is poor performance, but it's perfect for the gym or fall season. I'll keep number six for a special occasion in the autumn season. Yeah, so. Uh, I mean, if you look at the notes between the two, they're very similar. Um, obviously, the notes that have been added here made accords. Uh, they're very similar. Uh, similar. I'll speak. Similar. Sorry. Uh i need to awake a little while but it's i always think anything on this website that near enough a four or above is usually worth checking out and this scored a three point three point eight which i think for i think for a cheap fragrance that's really quite good to be honest um let's see what this is a little blurb there so this doesn't got a blurb or anything this has obviously this is a little bit older this is way more iconic and I say, if you haven't, if you think you haven't smelled this, you, you probably have. It's quite popular. It's typical sort of suit, clean, autumn-y sort of fragrance. It's nice. It's nice. But yeah, there's there's better stuff out there. But I guess it's a good beginner, I think, is probably the, the line to cut, right? That it's a big good, because if, you, if you're if you already into fragrances, and of course, you've got to be like, what's he on about? But, you know, is it, is it, you're talking as like a blank slate here. It, yeah, beginner, I'd say, is straight up. Imagine the guys who consider this bland and boring to be 20-something-year-olds wearing dirty white vest, skid mark diapers. Well, there we go. There's some definitely uh, vocal people. Oh, this is a few days ago again. Are we, like, in the algorithm again? W. This used to be my everyday for some years. Not that it was totally into it. Just wants to have it. It's, it's, a, just, it's, it's a safe, it's a really safe, smell i and, and to me i've kind of missed it I, I said at the beginning cozy because it's a kind of co it, it's just a nice cozy smell particularly when it's like what today it's overcast it's cloudy it's been raining we've had some pretty bad storms the last week in the uk so it's that kind of you know sort of cozy sort of smell uh, even if you were to be working i say i wore it quite a bit of work in school but i think it smells like shower gel and premium hotels 
Uh, I wouldn't really know about that. Usually it's coconut, isn't it? That sort of thing in, in sort of hotels, but whatever. Uh, one of those that don't really hate get the hate. The scent is rather, I really rather enjoy. For some reason, I mainly pick up the cinnamon opening. Clear apple scent towards the end. I see, I'm not too sure about the apple, but maybe. I have a lot of people say the apple. As for the performance, I usually get around four to five hours of pretty light projection on my skin. I find ideal for school that's going to save your place something different and go out later in the day. That's whatever I'd say. It's more of a bit more of an eating thing, but yeah, whatever. Okay. So, but this is this is the boss we're reviewing here, right? But they I think we're both remarkably similar. Um, I was anyway. I was quite impressed with it overall. Uh, I thought it was pretty good. It is an eau de toilette. Um, obviously, you, you, you get what you pay for. Really, I think is is what to be said. But for the money, that is very very good. I think so. If you enjoyed this, please leave a like. I'm going to do more reviews of my fragrances going more. I'm going to do a bit more of the cheaper stuff at the beginning, you know, get the feel for it. Because uh, obviously the popular stuff, people people have all reviewed it. So it's going to be a little bit more, uh, a little bit more sort of just in the, in, the, in the mix of all the other reviews. But thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.